scientists are planning to revive these wild extinct creatures. Extinct is no longer forever. Woolly mammoths, once icons of the Ice Age, could soon roam the Earth again after thousands of years. The extinct Tasmanian tiger, last seen in 1936, is now a prime candidate for resurrection. Scientists aren't just dreaming, they're extracting DNA fragments from preserved specimens in museums. Each tiny strand of ancient DNA is like a puzzle piece from creatures that disappeared long ago. The dodo bird, which vanished in the 1600s, could return through genetic reconstruction. When DNA samples are too degraded, scientists fill the gaps using genes from the extinct animal's closest living relatives. For mammoths, scientists are editing elephant DNA to create cold-resistant cells with mammoth characteristics. These genetically modified embryos would develop inside surrogate mothers from related living species. The goal isn't creating theme park attractions, it's restoring damaged ecosystems that collapsed when key species disappeared. When mammoths vanished, the Arctic grasslands they maintained turned to less carbon-efficient tundra. Tasmanian tigers were apex predators that regulated prey populations before humans hunted them to extinction. The extinction represents a chance to undo some of humanity's most devastating ecological mistakes. Critics worry we're playing God without fully understanding the consequences of reintroducing lost species. The technology faces enormous challenges, as proven by the cloned Pyrenean ibex that survived for only seven minutes after birth. Each species presents unique obstacles, from finding viable DNA to developing artificial wombs for species with no close relatives. For the passenger pigeon, which once darkened American skies by the billions, scientists need to recreate not just individuals but flocking behaviors. The revived animals won't be perfect genetic matches, but hybrid versions carrying essential traits of their extinct ancestors. Using CRISPR gene editing technology, scientists can now cut and paste specific genes with unprecedented precision. Colossal Biosciences has already raised over $150 million to bring back mammoths, Tasmanian tigers, and dodos. Some projects predict their first de-extinct animals could be born within this decade. The legal status of these revived species remains uncertain. Are they new organisms or protected as endangered species? Conservation groups debate whether funding should go to saving endangered species instead of reviving extinct ones. Despite the challenges, Scientists push forward, hoping our grandchildren might one day witness creatures we've only seen in textbooks. The question remains, just because we can bring back the dead, should we?